The question 7 is about arithmetic sequences. Here, let us look into the formula of arithmetic sequence. The general formula is given as a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. Where a1 is the first term, d is the common difference and n is the number of terms. Now, what is this a n? This is an explicit formula in the sense, imagine you want to find the sixth term of the sequence. All you need to have is a6. So you need to have first term that is a1 and this will be 6 minus it's plus 6 minus 1 and the common difference and you directly will get any term you want. So you do not need to know the previous term or anything. You can jump to any term you want as long as you know certain data that is the first and the difference. Now we will solve some problems. Here yeah, during their routine, a high school marching band marches in rows. There is one performer in the first row. They have told this is the first row A1. Three performers. Uh, now first row it's one. A1 is one. Three performers in the second row that will be A2 is equal to three. And five in the third row. A3 is five. This pattern continues for the rest of the rows. Determine how many performers will be there in the 14th row. So they have given a sequence 1, 3, 5. Now if you see the common difference over here is 2. So next will be 7, 9 and so on. So this is 2 over here. And then n, what do you have to find? At the 14th row, n is 14. So we have to find a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. This is the formula, right? Now, a 14th will be the first term that is 1 plus 14 minus 1 times what is the d? That's the difference. What is there? That is equal to d. This is it. You just put this in the formula. You can get the answer. It will be 1 plus 13 times 2 is 26. The answer is 27. Use the calculator here. The final answer must be 27. So this is how you can solve it. Now here a different variation of the formula is used but the final answer will be the same thing. You can see the answer is 27. So very simple. But now look over here. They have clearly mentioned the first row that is A1. It is 1. A2 is 3. A3 is 5 and so on. What about this one? About money. Usama's employer offers him a pay rate of 33 dirhams per hour with a 0.5 raise every three months. How much will Usama earn after three years? Now here, what do you think is this term one? They have told a lot of things. This is what it's increasing every three months. So D is 0.5. The after three years is what you need to solve. So you need to see how many three months are there in three years in the sense for each three months, there will be a jump. Three months. Next will be after six months, 12 months. So how many will be there in three months? You can count it like this. Or it's very simple. How many months are there in three years? 12 times 3. Divided by 3, you will get the answer. So cancel it off. So you will have 12 months. So every 12, uh, you know, N will be 12. Sorry. So if you count N of 12, you will have. Uh, 12 3 months in 3 years that's the thing so there'll be 12 times increase in the salary for uh, Usama now what is the term 1 now a1 is not 33 here you need to realize that a1 is the first term now what is first term when there is an increase of 0 0.5 salary right so after the first three months it becomes the first term so this is just given it's not a1 a1 is the first time something happens or in the first row or after one month what happens right but here it's after three months so a1 will be 33.5 you can even try counting it now this will be a1 after a12 will be three years at the end of three years you know so this is it these are the given so a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d right now substitute a to all that means after three years it will be 33.5 into n is again to all over here n 
this is what we are solving for minus 1 times d is over here 0 0.5 now this is plus okay the formula please memorize the formula properly it will be 33.5 and over here we have 11 12 minus 1 is 11 11 times uh, 0 0.5 will be 5.5 and the answer will be 38 plus 139 over here. So after three years, the salary per hour will be 39 dirhams. So this is how we solve it. You can see here, that's the answer. And that is the end of this question. A simple one, just remember the formula. A, A n is equal to A1 plus n minus 1 d. And then it will be very easy to solve these problems.